See, let's talk about the turf war between the Junior Black Mafia and the Shower Posse that left 27 homicides. Now, the JBM is known for selling drugs, rocking designer clothes, and driving exotic cars all over Philly. The Jamaican Shower Posse wanted a piece of that money. The Shower Posse is known for showering targets with bullets. That's what the name Shower comes from. They already took turf in DC and in New York, but it wasn't gonna be easy coming into Philly. The Shower Posse rode around in broad daylight and Volvo's toting baby Uzis. They already had a bad reputation for killing kids as young as 13 for petty cash. Even the cops in Philly wanted them out the city. It was an unusual week for JBM member Blizz in the North Philly area. See, it's normal for one fiend to miss a couple days but a couple fiends didn't sound right. One morning, Blizz ran into one of his missing customers at a Walgreens, and he informed Blizz there's a new guy in town. Blizz reported it back to his block captain. His response was, you better handle that. So Blizz made the fiends show him the next day. As Blizz approached the roster, he told him to try Baltimore. He can't be there. With three other Jamaicans watching from a car, he laughed and shook his head like he had an understanding. Later that day, Blizz and other JBM members were shooting dice when a dirt bike flowed by with two Jamaicans, with one on the back spraying bullets from a machine gun towards the JBM members, causing two deaths and three others hit. Weeks later, 10th Street Ryan noticed a Jamaican after hour spot. He had Blizz with him to point out a familiar face, but Blizz didn't recognize any of them. But the Jamaicans were dealing drugs outside of the after hour spot. So Ron went to the trunk and grabbed a semi-auto shotgun and stalked the two Jamaicans as they head to the car. Before the Jamaicans got the keys into the ignition, Ron started letting off killing the Jamaicans. Jerome Hicks, aka Roni, walked into a local barber shop. Before walking in, he noticed a black Jeep with New York tags. Walking in, there was a Jamaican with truck jewelry and a mouthful of gold. While as the Jamaican getting out the chair, Ronnie got to a phone and begged for a green light, but the hit was called off. Money was slowing down due to a Jamaican killing a cop during a traffic dispute. At this point, Philly was getting fed up with the Jamaicans. The Jamaicans terrorized anyone who looked like money on the street. War was in the air, and most Jamaicans were illegal getting heavy military weapons shipped to the U.S. to have an advantage taken over turfs. The 100 shot handgun was introduced to Philly after a shootout against the shower posse. They played it sweet because only a handgun was pulled out, but an automatic performance displayed and bullets kept coming. Dropping JBM members, a survivor shouted, what the fuck was that? I got to get my hands on one of them. See, most people from out the country had access to military weapons. There were Jamaicans that weren't a part of the shower posse selling weapons to drug dealers, so the war was on. There was two wars going on in Philly. Different factions of Philly had beef, and then you had the shower posse. You didn't know where to shoot. See, JBM didn't expect to be ambushed by Jamaicans during a basketball game. It was the norm for Jamaicans to go to war in front of kids. Shit, they could be seen giving out testers during a block party. They played by their own rules. Shower Posse members from New York was happy to come down to join the war. It wasn't a good idea for JBM members to continue to go to New York for custom Dapper Dan. It would be no use for having Gucci ruined by bullets and gunpowder. Drop tops with custom MCM seats shot up. The Jamaicans came into realization that nightclubs and food spots would be more convenient in Philly. I mean, you still have drug dealers and weapon dealers, but there was no more stepping on toes. So that's part one of the video. If you guys really like this video, please like and subscribe, and a part two will be coming soon. I just wanted to get this out there to see if you guys want to hear this. So um, yeah, man, thanks for watching, and um, peace out. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.